Remove everything from the bracket kit box and identify all parts and hardware. Confirm the total suspension travel distance. For air suspension systems, dump the air and confirm it's the lowest point of travel. Place the fenders on spacer blocks above the tires. One and a half inches of clearance is recommended. For an air suspension system, place a three quarter inch to one and a half inch thick board on top of the tires after the air is released from the airbags. Raise and lower the suspension to confirm the clearance between the fenders and wheels and to ensure the fenders will be centered front to rear when the air suspension is inflated. With the fenders in position, test fit the brackets along the frame. If possible, use existing bolt holes to attach the swivel bracket. If possible, position the mounting brackets low on the fender so they're no more than 15 inches from the bottom. Round spacers are supplied to hold the swivel bracket away from obstacles on the frame when needed. In some cases, the pipe component of the swivel bracket may need to be trimmed to a custom length for best fit and to allow full engagement on the poly brackets. Minimizer offers three different lengths of swivel brackets to suit different frame widths and track widths. Use spacers only when necessary. The ideal installation involves mounting the swivel bracket directly to the frame. Once the brackets are in position, tighten the 5 8 inch by 4 and a half inch bolt that goes through the swivel bracket. Recommended torque is 160 to 170 foot-pounds. Place four 5 16 by 3 inch bolts through the poly bracket and backing block to clamp the swivel. Install and finger tighten the nuts and align the bracket to the fender. Verify that the poly bracket is fully engaged on the swivel bracket. Tighten the four bolts evenly, following a diagonal pattern. Tighten each nut two to three times until the backing block is flush against the poly bracket. Recommended torque is 10 to 15 foot-pounds. Attach the fender to the poly bracket by first verifying the fenders are level across the frame and aligned with the tires for optimal clearance. Drill six 5 16 inch holes through the fender using the poly bracket as a template. Install the 5 16 by 1 inch bolts through the bracket and fender. Use six 5 16 inch fender washers and nuts provided with the kit on the underside of the fender. Recommended torque is 10 to 15 foot-pounds. For trucks with air suspension, raise and lower the suspension one final time to confirm there is adequate clearance between the fenders and wheels. Repeat the process for all fenders. Once the fenders are in service, occasionally inspect the 5 8 inch bolts in the frame to confirm they do not loosen over time. 